the type of romantic relationships that work well for a long time and are enduring are ones in which the couple really learn to go beyond romantic love and to discover something deeper and they use their relationship as the basis for something greater for reaching out beyond themselves for allowing the love within themselves to touch the lives of others beyond their immediate circle and they each encourage the other to flourish in that way and don't try and limit the loving capacity of the other usually they make a commitment to each other as being the the primary form of relationship they have but they let it be a container that radiates outwards to others and isn't limited to just them so in a sense such a couple are not living in a way it's us against the world they're living in a sense of us for the world us contributing to the greater life and this is what enables them to have a relationship that endures because it's bigger than just them and that enables that the relationship to draw nourishment from outside itself and they're not like a you know a couple of plants stuck in a pot together they're rooted in a greater life and so they can be more enduring ultimately the the only certain path to happiness and fulfillment is to let our inner guide lead us to learn to listen and respond to the promptings of the highest and best within ourselves and to follow those promptings whose inner promptings will sometimes take us into a, a relationship which is in the form of romantic love we can help to ensure that romantic relationship is long term if we allow it to be part of our path to learning to love and to see it as part of our path to learning a greater and greater capacity to love as part of this we can learn to cultivate enlightened love poetically we could say that love is a flower with many petals so there's many qualities that we can cultivate and develop that are part of that it could be kindness compassion appreciation of beauty art enjoyment of nature and of course learning to love and appreciate more people and learning to love and appreciate more of life to summarize then i would say Romantic love is not an illusion, but it can be. We're seeing it through illusions. We have illusions about it. The way out of those illusions are to, to be able to do some good hard thinking about the type of relationship we're in and adjusting our expectations to make our relationships more workable and less based on forever and the ultimate person. And instead, see it as a pathway, as a pathway to a greater capacity to love. It may well also be that we need to consider the deeper values, the deeper values of the other person we are with and the deeper values of our own nature, possibly adjust our lifestyle and our goals in life so that our way of making our livelihood in the world doesn't cause unnecessary stress to a relationship. Romantic love serves us best when it allows us to reach more unconditional, more universal form of love, not only for this one particular person, but to more people, and to ultimately to fall in love with life itself.